Hi, I'm Pete from A Suit That Fits, and I'm here to talk to you about what to wear to a black tie event. So obviously the first thing that you want to be considering for a black tie event is your, um, your dinner suit. So um, what I'll be talking you through is every element of the dinner suit that you should be looking to wear to a black tie event. So firstly, we're going to start with the neckwear. Uh, you would be expected to wear a bow tie to a black tie event, um, or specifically a black bow tie although you will find some people wearing colorful bow ties and very, very rarely, something I'm not really for, is an actual necktie to a black tie event. Um, it is something that you can wear if you want to be a little bit different. However, I would suggest sticking with a, with a bow tie as your neckwear to a black tie event. Um, also another thing, to the, fir the first thing you should consider when buying a dinner suit is the dinner jacket itself. Um, as you can see, mine is velvet. I would always very strongly recommend that you have a shawl collar like mine or a peaked collar. And although you will see some for sale that have notched collars like your standard business suit, I would highly recommend against buying something like that. Um, traditionally, a dinner jacket should have no vents and also no flaps on the pockets. So the pockets themselves should be jetted. So they should just be slits with two welts on the top, well, one welt on the top and one welt on the bottom. So no flap on a dinner jacket. Traditionally as well, a dinner jacket, you should never be able to see the, um, the waistband of your trousers. So the way that's gotten around in most dinner suits is in a waistcoat, like in the case of the one I'm wearing, or in a cummerbund, which will also um, keep the waist covered up. Also, you'll want to wear a dinner shirt with your, um, with your ensemble. And in this case, what you want to be looking for is double buttonholes across the front placket of the shirt in which you are meant to be placing dress studs. Um, you'll find dress studs are either in onyx or in mother of pearl. Um, and the dinner shirt can have one of two collar types. In the case of mine, I'm wearing a, a standard collar, um, although you will find many dinner jacket shirts have wingtip collars. Um, moving on down, on the actual trouser itself, a uh, satin side seam is um, standard on dinner jacket trousers or in, on, on um, black tie trousers. Um, they should be made of a heavier weight cloth, like a Berathea, um, and they will always be black trousers, so regardless of whether or not you're wearing a white jacket for a daytime black tie event, or a dark jacket like mine for an evening black tie event, the trousers should always be black. The next item to consider is your pocket square. You should really be looking to match it to your shirt color or to the color of your waistcoat, should you choose to go for a colorful waistcoat. Um, it doesn't necessarily need to be a dead-on match, and you can also use pattern to, to make things look a little bit more interesting if you want to, if you want to make a flashier looking ensemble with your dinner jacket. Um, the last thing to consider is your footwear. Um, classic footwear for black tie would be any shoe which is made of black patent leather. Um, traditionally either a pump with a bow or a Oxford. And that is what to wear to a black tie event.